Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. If you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. What you're looking at here is my best Mandela piece ever. After four days of tinkering, learning a new technique or two, more on that later, it's finally finished and I'm super excited to share with you guys, so without further ado, for this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used about 75% of Lion Brown's Pound of Love in the color taupe. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCD DIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 5 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain Slip Stitch single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this dress started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 4mm hook and start off by making a chain that is the size of right underneath our bust, just one of them. And keep in mind, this does need to be an even number as well. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 5 inches or 13 centimeters, or that comes out to 24 chains. Now that we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain. Do a chain up of one and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a single crochet. And from here, we're just going to be putting one single crochet into every chain that we have going all the way down. So we have just made our way all the way down with our first row of single crochets. Our next row is going to be a row of double crochets, but we're only going to be going into half of the stitches that we have. So I started off with a chain of 24, so I'm actually going to be doing 12 double crochets right here. So I'm going to start off by doing a chain up of three and flip our work. From here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet go into that first stitch with a double. And we're just going to keep going down until we have half the amount of double crochets as the initial chain that we made. So now that we've gone in with our double crochets, we just want to make sure that we still end up with an even amount of stitches on this other side. But once we have that, what we're going to do from here is just do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. We will be flipping our work. And then we're going to be putting one double crochet into every stitch that we have working our way down. Once we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of three, flip our work, and then work our way back with more rows of double crochet. And we're going to keep going until this portion of our cup is underneath our boob, and then this height that we're building right now reaches about mid-boob. And keep in mind, this absolutely needs to reach mid-boob, otherwise we won't get the proper height for the entirety of the cup. So I'm going to keep going until I have a total of five rows, including this single crochet row. And the last tip I'm going to give you guys is that I will be ending my double crochet portion along the outside, not on the inside where our little tail portion is. And that is because once when we are along this side, we're going to need to work our way back in so that we can do our curved portion. But if you guys absolutely need to end right here, go ahead and cut and tie and then reattach your yarn into this outside corner. But either way, I'll meet you guys back just after a few rows. Alrighty, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with my double crochet rows and I have a total of five rows including this single crochet row that we started off with. And this chunk that I have right here is a total of two inches or five centimeters. And what we're going to do right now is go in with our curve row. So go ahead and start off by doing a chain up of three, flip our work, and then put one double crochet into every stitch that we have going back down our work until we get to this last corner stitch because then we're going to be doing an increase of five. So we've just made our way down with our double crochet row and into this corner stitch we're going to be going in with an increase of five double crochets. So there is one, there is two, there is three, four, and then five. Once we have our five we are now going to be working into our side double crochets. So into each of our side double crochets we're going to be going in with two doubles into each. So just to show you the first one, here's one double crochet, and then here's two. Go ahead and keep working your way down until we get down to the tail end or the base that we left for ourselves, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. So now that we are into our last side double crochet, we are now going to be slip stitching into the base. So we're going to count up one, two stitches, and slip stitch into that second stitch. 
we're going to yarn over and pull through everything and now this row is nice and attached what we're going to do from here to work our way up to the next row we're going to be slip stitching up the next two stitches and flipping our work from here we're going to be putting one double crochet into every stitch that we have going all the way down until we hit this middle stitch into this increase of five that we did in the previous row because then we're going to be doing an increase of three double crochets so I'll meet you guys back once we get to this corner stitch so we've just made our way down with our double crochets and we are at this corner stitch right here and all we're going to do is an increase of three into that corner stitch so there's one double crochet there is two and where's one more three double crochets into that corner stitch from here put one double crochet into every stitch that we have making our way all the way down to the end and then once we make our way down to the end do a chain up of three flip our work and then bring it back with more double crochets and then we will maintain doing an increase into the corner stitch and from now on it's just going to be an increase of three and then once we make our way down to the base we're going to slip stitch it into the base the same way that we just did a couple clips ago and we're going to keep going back and forth like that until we don't have any more stitches left to go into into the base once we have that go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and then make one more cup and then i'll meet you guys back i am back and i have just finished up going in with both of my cups and just to let you guys know the height that i have for my cups is a total of four and a half inches or about 22 centimeters but once we have both of them all finished up we just need to connect them with a chain in the middle so that's going to be pretty easy we're going to grab one of our cups and insert our hook into this inner corner loop insert our yarn onto our hook pull through once when we have that we are going to do just a chain of one and then we're going to insert our hook into this inner corner stitch over here on the other cup and then we're going to yarn over pull through everything do a chain up of one and cut and then we can get started on our top detail now that our cups are nice and attached we can now get started on our top detail so what we're going to do is insert our hook into this top corner stitch that we have into one of our cups insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through we're first going to start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet once we have that three we're actually going to be doing one more so we're going to have a total of four we're going to prepare for a double crochet we are going to skip one stitch double crochet into the stitch right after that and this is our first net we're going to do just one more together do a chain out of one prepare for double crochet skip one stitch double crochet into the next and we're going to keep doing this pattern all the way down until we get to around where we have our increase and then i'll meet you guys back once we get right here so we have just made our way down to our increase of three with our row of net and your last double crochet could be in the first second or third double crochet into our increase of three doesn't matter just as long as we're within this area we are in good shape once we have this we're going to do a chain out of one and then we will be counting the total amount of rows that we currently have including this single crochet row and also including this net row so i have a total of 12 rows right here and we're going to be adding one on top of that so i'm going to do a yarn over of 13. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen once when i have my thirteen we're going to be inserting our hook into this chain of one space that we have in between our cups we're going to yarn over pull through that stitch and then from here we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have just one loop left on our hook and be sure to try and keep this as taut as possible because if we don't we could have a decent size gap along this side and we do not want that so go ahead and keep pulling through two all right so we have just finished up going in with our mega long yarn over whatever this is and once when we have this we're actually going to do the same thing that we have over here on the other side so what we're going to do first of all is just do a chain out of one and then we're going to figure out the stitch that we just came out of when it comes to this double crochet so mine actually came out of the second stitch that we had into our increase of three so we are going to prepare for a double crochet grab our other cup and then insert our hook into the same stitch over here so mine was into this second one so i'm going to double crochet into the same one on this side and then once we have that we're going to continue on with our net so chain one prepare for a double skip one stitch 
double crochet into the next and keep doing this going all the way down. Now kicking off row two when it comes to our top detail we're going to start off by going in with a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet we're going to flip our work and then from here we're actually just going to go all the way down putting one double crochet into every stitch that we have stopping at this last double crochet that we have right above this cup so just to do the first one we're going to prepare for double we can go ahead and just go straight into this chain one space that we have and then the next one is going to go on top of this double crochet loop and keep doing this going all the way down until we hit that middle stitch. So now that we've made our way all the way down with our double crochets, we are going to be skipping this middle chunk that we have. So we're actually gonna skip one, two, three, four stitches. So prepare for a double crochet and then just go into that first double crochet that we have into the next cup, just like that. And then from here, work your way back down, putting one double crochet into every stitch. Now that we have made our way down with our second row, the third one is going to be a row of net again. So we're going to start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. Do an extra chain up, so we're going to have a total of four, flip our work, prepare for double, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. And go ahead and keep doing our net going all the way down until we have just one double crochet left into the previous row. We're back and we have done our net all the way down until we have two double crochets left. If you guys just have one, that is completely fine, just as long as you guys are within this corner. But what we're going to do from here is prepare for a double crochet. And then whatever double crochet this last one is in, we're going to be double crocheting into the same one on the other side. So mine is into the one, two, three, the third one on the side. So I'm going to count one, two, three, then double crochet into that third double crochet. Just like that chain one and then continue on with our net. So we have just made our way down with our third row when it comes to our top detail and the next row is going to be super easy it's just going to be a row of solid double crochet. So all we're going to do is do a chain up of three and flip our work and then we're going to go all the way across putting one double crochet into every stitch. Alright so our solid double crochet row is all finished up. Our next two rows, so rows 5 and 6, are going to be both rows of net. So I'm just going to get this one started off with you guys. We're going to start off by doing a chain up of 3, that counts as a double. We're going to do an extra, so a total of 4. Flip our work, prepare for a double, skip one stitch, double into the next. And we're going to keep doing nets going all the way down. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of 3, which is a double, an extra chain up, so 4 in total. And then we're just going to be putting our double crochets into the double crochet stitches that we have into this previous row. Chain out of one and then double crochet. And keep doing that working our way back. Alright, so rows five and six are done. They were both rows of net and our next row is also extremely easy. It's just going to be a row of single crochet just going all the way across. So go ahead and just do a chain up of one. Flip our work and put one single crochet into every stitch. And this is our last row, so do a chain up of one and cut when we get to the end of this. We have just finished up going in with our top detail portion and we are now just about ready to get started on the Mandela piece, but first we're going to have to start off by cleaning up the bottom and just going in with a single crochet. So we will be inserting our hook into this bottom corner stitch, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and start off by putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have, including into this chain up of one space. And then also insert your stitch marker into that space because that is our middle stitch. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one and cut. So right before we get started with this Mandela section, I just wanted to speak to you guys about it really quickly. We are going to want to go in with our triangle shape from underneath where we're at. But we're going to keep going until that triangle point that we have reaches right where we want our waistband to start. So this is going to be different for everyone. Some of you guys may have some stitches at the end right here. Some of you guys may exceed the stitches. I will try my best to speak to you guys about that when that comes around so that we can properly adjust as it comes along. But yeah, so we're going to either follow my pattern or you guys can fill in with whatever you guys want. And from there, we can just continue on with the rest of the dress. So I will show you guys what we're going to start off with right now. So we have just made our way all the way across with our single crochet row. And what we're gonna do from here is start with our Mandela row. So the first thing we're going to do is count out the three stitches that we have away from our middle stitch. So here's one, here's two, here's three. Go ahead and insert your hook into there. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. 
And from here, we are automatically going to prepare for a treble crochet. And then into this middle stitch, we're going to go in with two trebles. So yarn over twice. Into that middle stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. We're going to be going in with one more, so yarn over twice. Into that same middle stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Once we have that, we can go ahead and pull this tail end so it's a little bit tighter. Once we have that, we are going to do a chain out of two and do the same thing into that middle stitch. Now that we know where it's at, we can take out our stitch marker and we're going to prepare for a treble, insert, pull through two, 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 one more, insert, pull through two, two, two. Once we have that, we are going to count up one, two, three stitches and slip stitch into that third. So we've just gone in with our first row and we are about to get started on row number two together. So what I will be doing is slip stitching into the next three stitches because we're going to work our way up to a treble again. So one, two, and three. Once we have that, we will be flipping our work and then we're going to be putting one treble crochet into every stitch that we have with a chain one in between. So go ahead and yarn over twice into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 chain one. Yarn over twice into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and now we should be at our middle gap. So we're still going to chain one, prepare for a treble, not a double, into that middle gap, pull through two, 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 chain one, prepare for a treble into that same gap, with a treble and then from here chain one insert our hook into that next stitch that we have pull through two 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 chain one and into this last one insert pull through pull through two 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 from here we are going to be slip stitching into the third stitch that we have into the base so count up one two three and slip stitch into there to close off this row so now that we have our second row all finished up we're going to be slip stitching into the next two stitches and that is to work our way up to a double crochet, we're going to flip our work. And from here, we're gonna go in with a solid row of double crochet while doing an increase of two into the chain of one spaces that we have in between our trebles. So just as an example, we're gonna prepare for a double, go into that first treble crochet stitch with a double. Into this chain one space, we're going to go in with two double. This is my next treble, go ahead and go in with a double. This is my chain two space with an increase of two. And then right here, we are at our treble that is within this gap. So we're just gonna be putting one into there. And then into this middle gap that we have, we're gonna go in with a double chain two. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing that we did here. So double into this middle gap and then put one double into every treble crochet stitch with an increase of two double crochets into each of these chain one spaces. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the second stitch that we have into the base to close off this row. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our third row and we're about to go in with our fourth and that is going to be a row of net. So go ahead and slip stitch up the next two stitches. We will be flipping our work and we're going to start this off by doing a chain out of two. We're gonna prepare for a half double, skip one stitch, half double crochet into the next chain out two, prepare for a half double, skip one stitch, half double crochet into the next, and we're gonna stick with each other until we get to that middle gap. So this is my second to last one. Go ahead and chain out another two. And then my last half double is going to be into that stitch that is right before this gap. And what we're gonna do from here is chain out two. That was one, here's two, half double crochet, into there just one of them and then chain out two and then we're going to be inserting our hook into the next stitch that we have into this other side with a half double so all we did was a chain two one half double chain two into that middle stitch go ahead and keep doing this going all the way around we're going to slip stitch into that second stitch that we have into the base so we've just finished up going in with our row of net and we are going to clean this up by going in with a row of single crochet 
So how we're going to do that is by slip stitching into that next stitch, flip our work, and then we're just going to be going in, putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have, and then we're going to just make our way all the way around. We have just cleaned up our row of net with a single crochet row, and we're actually about to go in with another row of net. So we are going to be slip stitching into the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row. From here, we are going to flip our work and start this row off by doing a chain out of two. We're going to prepare for a double crochet this time. We're going to be skipping that first stitch, inserting our hook into the next with a double crochet. We're going to chain two, prepare, skip, double crochet into the next. And we are going to keep doing this going all the way around. Once we make our way over to the other side of the base, we're going to slip stitch into that second stitch that we have into the base. All right, so we have just finished up going in with our sixth row. And as you guys can see, I did cut and tie. And I cut and tied strictly for design purposes. If you guys still want to keep going in the rounds-ish, like this with your designs, you guys are more than welcome, but I actually want to start building out my side pieces from here. So I did cut and tie, and then I also put this up to myself, and from these bottom corner edges, I measured out where I wanted my side panels to start, keeping in mind that we will have a decent sized back panel and we will have a corset tie in the back as well. So I went ahead and measured out a total of two and a half inches or seven centimeters, or that comes out to about 12 chains. So what we're gonna have to do is insert our hook just into one side, make our chain, do a cut and then we're going to do the same thing on this side but once we do the second one we can just go straight across with our next row so i'm just going to insert my hook make my chain and then i'm going to cut on this side and then make my chain on this side and then i'll meet you guys back so now that i have my chains along both sides i didn't cut and tie the second one that we just went into we can now go in with our next row and this is going to be fairly easy what we're going to start off well what i'm going to start off with doing is by blocking off that last chain and I'm going to start off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. From here we're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double and then from here we're just going to work our way down the chain and including into the body putting one half double into each. But right before we hit our Mandela portion right here, you're going to stop just one stitch right before because we're going to have to do a decrease into the body and then also into the mandela just so we can maintain this corner so i'll meet you guys back right about here Alrighty, so we have just made our way down with our half double crochets and we have left our last stitch that we have into the body and we're also going to go into the first stitch that we have into the mandela piece just to maintain this corner so what we're going to do is prepare for a half double insert your hook into that last stitch yarn over pull through and then for here we have a little gap in our chain two space we can just insert our hook into that entire gap but remember that just counts as one stitch we're gonna yarn over pull through yarn over pull through everything on our hook and then from here we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into every stitch going all the way up until we get to the gap that we have right before our middle chain out of two yeah so we're going to just be putting one half double into every stitch so when it comes to our chain two spaces we are more than welcome to just insert our hook into the entire space instead of into the chain if that is easier for you and then i will meet you guys back just one gap right before our middle stitch marker <laughs> so we have just gone in with our half double crochet all the way down so we have just one gap left right before our middle gap so what we're going to do from here is do a chain out of two we can take out this middle stitch marker now because we know which one we're going into and then we're gonna go in with a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So there's one, we're skipping this gap by the way, chain two, and then into the same middle gap, double crochet. Then once we have that, we're going to chain out one, prepare for a half double, and we're gonna be skipping this gap just like how we skipped it over here. So go into this first double crochet stitch with a half double. And then from here, put one half double crochet into every stitch leaving the last one that we have into this gap right here because we're going to be doing a decrease of two into the last stitch that we have into the mandela and also into the first that we have into the body piece and then just half double crochet all the way down till we reach the end of our chain and then i'll meet you guys back we have just finished up going in with our half double crochet row and our next row is going to be a row of net and we're going to add just a little bit more detail into the middle so what we're going to do from here is do a chain up of three 
That counts as a double crochet. We're going to chain up one extra, so that's going to be four in total. We are going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, skip one stitch, double crochet into that next. We're going to chain one, prepare for a double, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and we're going to keep doing this until we get to that little juncture that we have right where our body portion meets our mandela piece. So this may be a little bit different if you guys are going in with the same pattern, but if you guys have a little bit of different numbers. So I'm actually going to stop around here. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle corner and I'll meet you guys back. So now that we've gotten all the way over to this corner, like I said, I stopped around this portion right here. I actually have my last double crochet into this stitch and then there's actually a regular stitch, our decrease, and then another regular stitch. So I'm going to take all that into account, prepare for a double crochet, not have a chain one in between, and I'm going to count one, two, three, and then insert my stitch into that fourth stitch from my hook, just like that. So kind of like a decrease into this corner. From here, go ahead and do a chain up of one, prepare for a double, skip one, double crochet into the next, and keep doing this until we make our way over to our middle gap. So I have made my way over to my middle gap and we are going to extend this middle detail. So what we're going to do is do a chain out of one and I'm going to be doing a shell into this gap that we have right here. So all that is, is three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Once we have our three doubles all into that middle gap, we're going to chain out three and then do another set of three double crochets into this gap. So here is one, here is two, and then here is three. Once we have that, we're going to do a chain out of one because we chained out one on this side. And then we're gonna take a look and see where our double crochet ended on this side and then be sure to insert our double crochet into the same stitch on the other side. So prepare for a double, go into that first stitch because that's where our double crochet ended on the other side with a double, chain one, prepare, skip, double into the next. And keep doing this going all the way down, remembering to do our decrease once when it comes to this corner right here and then i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row we've just finished up going in with our row of net and our next row is going to be a single crochet row where we expand our middle detail yet again so what we're going to do from here is do a chain out of one and flip our work and this next part is going to be fairly simple go ahead and just put one single crochet into every stitch that we have and then once we get to this little meeting point right here, we are going to do a decrease into these two double crochet stitches that's right next to each other. And then single crochet going all the way up until we get to this last double crochet into this net because we're going to expand our middle detail. So I'll meet you guys back once we have all that done. So now that we've made our way down with our single crochets and we are now at our middle detail, what we're going to do is automatically go in with a double crochet into this first stitch. So we're just going to prepare go into that first stitch with one double crochet, chain one into that next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and now we should be at that middle gap. And then what we're gonna do from here is same deal, chain one, double crochet once into that middle gap, chain two, prepare, go into that middle gap again, double crochet, and then now we're back into the other side of our shell. So chain one, double, chain one, double, chain one, and then double into that last single crochet stitch. Once we have that, go ahead and single crochet into that first double crochet stitch that we have going into the Mandela piece, and then just put one double, not a double, put one single crochet into every stitch that we have going all the way down, remembering to do a decrease of two single crochets when we meet this corner, and then I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. So going into the next row, right after we finished up going in with our single crochet row, we're going to go in with another solid row of half double crochet. So from here, we're going to do a chain out of two, prepare for a half double, and put one half double crochet into every stitch that we have, remembering to decrease once when we get to our corner right here. And since there is only one stitch right here, since we already did a decrease into the previous row, there's not going to be two for us to go into, so go ahead and just eyeball it. And then once we get to the last single crochet that we have right before our middle detail, I will meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are now at our middle detail and what we're going to do from here is start off by doing a chain out of five and then we're going to do three single crochets into this middle gap. So count out one, two, three, four, and five into this middle gap. Go ahead and go in with one, two, oh that's not split this yarn, three. 
single crochets and then we're going to do the same thing so do a chain out of one two three four and five prepare for a half double crochet and then into this first single crochet stitch on the other side go in with your half double and then put one half double into every stitch remembering to decrease into this corner and then half double crochet all the way down i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row so keeping this pattern pushing what we're going to do next is going in with our net row again we just finished up going in with our half double crochet row and so we are going to start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double do an extra chain counts as four in total from here we're going to prepare for a double we're going to skip one stitch double crochet into the next chain one prepare for a double skip one stitch double into the next and we are going to keep doing this going all the way down remembering to do our decrease into this corner and then we're actually just going to maintain doing this pattern going all the way up including into our chain i will meet you guys back just to remind you guys but yeah i'll meet you guys back right about here so i've done our net over to our middle detail and like i said in the previous clip we are also going to be going into the chain so we'll just start that off together we're going to prepare for a double skip one stitch go into that next chain with a double chain one prepare skip one stitch double into the next chain one prepare skip one stitch double into the next and from here we should be somewhere near our middle stitch and we're going to do something just a smidge bit different so we have just one more chain one prepare into that next stitch and then i am now at my middle stitch right here and what we're going to do is all into that middle stitch we're going to go in with a double crochet even though these are right next to each other chain three prepare double crochet into that same stitch so we just formed another little teardrop triangle teardrop and then from here we're going to do the same thing that we did here so into the next stitch just prepare for a double because we need it to mirror the other side chain one prepare for a double and then continue going all the way down with our net remembering to decrease into the corner and then i'll meet you guys back at the end of the row all right so this net row is all finished up and this is the easiest row that we're going to do so far this is just going to be a row of single crochets going all the way around absolutely nothing fancy so just remember to do our decreases into these corners and then just do an increase of three once when you get to this corner right here and then i will meet you back at the end of this row all right so my single crochet row is all finished up and for the pattern that i'm doing i'm actually just going to be going in with one more row of net and then i will call it a day you guys can obviously lengthen it shorten it you guys can do whatever pattern you guys want from here but let's just get this next one started off with each other i'm going to start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double to a chain up of one and flip our work from here go ahead and prepare for a double crochet skip one stitch double into the next and we're going to keep doing that remembering to decrease when we get to this corner then i'll meet you guys back once we get to this point right here just so i can show you guys what we're going to do with our detail so if you guys are going in with these same numbers as me we should have ended into the second to last stitch right before we get to the middle one and all we're going to do is do a chain out of one and then into that middle stitch we're going to go in with a double chain three and a double and then from here chain one and we're just going to repeat the same thing that we did here so we're going to skip one stitch double crochet into the next and that is it go ahead and keep doing this going all the way down all right so i have just finished up going in with my last row when it comes to my mandela detail section and just to let you guys know this is where i want my waistband to start right at this point and from the bottom of my cup all the way down to my point i ended up having a total of six and a half inches or 17 centimeters and from here we're actually just going to fill in this little empty portion right here making sure that this bottom stays flat with a bunch of half double crochets just to fill this in and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then i'll actually meet you guys back on the other side so that we can do this one together Alrighty, so I have just figured out how to do this bottom solid portion. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just for an indicator for ourselves, we're going to be inserting our stitch marker into that middle stitch just so that we know where not to go past. But once when we have that, if you guys are still on the first side, which you guys should probably be on the first side, go ahead and do a chain up of two, flip your work. But I, since I'm working on my second side, will be inserting my hook into this stitch right here. I'm going to count up one, two, three chains 
insert my hook into that third insert my yarn onto my hook pull through and start off just like you guys by doing a chain up of two and then from here it's going to be pretty simple we're going to have double crochet going all the way down until we hit this decrease portion right here or our corner where our body portion meets our mandela and then we're going to do a decrease here half double crochet down and then we're going to do two sets of decreases of two half double crochets into these last two stitches right here so we're actually going to stop four stitches before we get to this middle part so i will do this first row with you guys so we're just going to prepare insert pull through pull through three and i'll meet you guys back when we get to our first decrease section into the corner so we are now ready to go in with our first decrease and this is going to be pretty simple to find it's going to be the two double crochets that we have next to each other that doesn't have a chain so we're just going to yarn over insert pull through insert pull through yarn over pull through three and then from here pull one half double into every stitch until we are just four stitches away from this middle gap so this one is going to count as one two three four we're going to meet back at the second to last double crochet all right so we are back and we have just four stitches left we have one two three four so we're going to prepare for half double crochet into that first stitch yarn over pull through into that next pull through yarn over pull through all four and just one more decrease prepare insert into that next stitch pull through next stitch pull through yarn over pull through all four once we have that we are going to do a chain out of two and flip our work and along this bottom half we are always going to maintain doing decreases of two right next to each other so that we can keep this nice and blunt so let's get this started off with each other we're going to prepare for a half double go into that first stitch pull through next stitch pull through pull through four once more yarn over insert pull through insert pull through yarn over pull through all four and from here we're going to keep going all the way down putting one half double crochet into every stitch and we are going to be maintaining this decrease that we have into this corner as well the only tip that i have for you guys is the amount of half double crochets that you guys have from this corner over to where you guys did your first decrease over here you're going to want to maintain this so i ended up going in with a total of 13 half double crochets until i went in with my first decrease over here so this needs to stay at 13. And we're only doing that so that this portion doesn't shrink up at all we just want this portion to try and even out as much as possible as you guys can see this side over here this one got smaller and this one stayed the same so go ahead and maintain the pattern of doing two sets of decreases of two half double crochets into this corner and then also just one decrease of two half double crochets into this corner and we're going to keep going like that until it comes almost to a straight line and I'm saying almost because as you guys can see we actually ran out of decreases along this bottom portion so we're going to have to go in with single crochets just to help even this out so I'll meet you guys back just after a few rows to let you guys know what I'm talking about okay so I have gone in with my half double crochets where we did a bunch of decreases and I have just a couple left as you guys can see it's pretty close to being completely straight so we're going to try to help that along so what we're going to do is go in with, and this is going to be different for everyone, but what we are going to do is go in with a row of half double crochet once when we're pretty close. And then once we get to where we do our first decrease, we're going to go in with a decrease of two single crochet. And then we're going to close off with single crochets just to help this flatten out a little bit. So all I'm going to do is go in with my same set of half double crochets and I'll meet you guys back when we're ready to do our decrease of two single crochets. So I've gone in with my half double crochets and I am pretty much ready to go in with my decrease of two single crochets. So we're going to insert, pull through, next, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And then right here, I, for the pattern that I'm doing, just have three stitches left. So I'm just going to be doing one single crochet into the next one and then a decrease of two singles again into the last two stitches. And once we have that, I'm going to do a chain up of one and flip my work and then start this off by going in with a decrease of two single crochets. I'm going to be doing two sets of those, but yours can vary depending on whatever looks best for the piece that you guys have. So there are my two sets of decrease of two single crochets, and then from here I'm just going to half double crochet all the way down. And then once I make my way all the way down to the end, I am actually done with my piece. So I'm just going to cut, and then I already have my other one done, so you guys can go ahead and do your other piece and then I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we have just finished up going in with our little solid under Mandela portion on 
both sides and what we're going both sides I didn't even show you and what we're going to do from here is go in with our back panel which is going to lead us to our corset detail so all we're going to do is first go in with the row of single crochet now this is going to be different depending on what rows you guys have I have a bunch of singles side half doubles side double crochet rows so I'm just going to let you guys fill in the single crochets as you guys need but I'm just going to let you guys know into every single crochet row we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side double crochet row we're going to be going in with two single crochets and then into every side half double crochet row we're going to be alternating between one and two single crochets so let's get that part started off together we're going to pull through do a chain up of one and then into this first side half double crochet we're going to be going into that loop with a single and then into the next one we're going to go in with two singles and then from here, I'm just going to let you guys have at it until we get down to the bottom, or I guess the top, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we've made it down to the end with our single crochet row, what we're going to do from here is just go in with a little solid portion of double crochets. So start this off by doing a chain up of three, prepare for a double crochet, and then put one double crochet into every stitch. Once we make it down to the end, do another chain up of three, flip our work, and then bring it on back down with more double crochets. And we're just going to keep going back and forth like that until we get a length that is good for our back panel and i'm going to keep going until i have a total of four double crochet rows and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can go in with our corset ties i've just gone in with my rows of double crochets and now we're going to start working in with our net and we're going to use this net for our corset so all that is going to be is we're going to start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet then we will also be doing a chain up of one so a total of four from here we're going to prepare for a double skip one stitch double into the next it is the same net that we've been doing for pretty much this whole piece so far so go ahead and keep doing that going all the way down i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row and now that we've made our way down to the end with our net we're just going to secure this a little bit more with a row of single crochet so do a chain up of one flip our work and then go ahead and just put one single crochet into every stitch once we make it down to the end go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut and then do this entire sequence that we just did here on the other side and then i'll meet you guys back so we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our corset details and the next thing we're going to do is go in with our waistband and our waistband is going to start off with a single crochet row along the bottom of our piece and we're only going to be single crocheting from this single crochet row that we have for the corset side that we have that was the first row that we did all the way across to this next piece because the band is going to be connected from this point to this point and then it's going to have a little hanging portion on the back so what we're going to do is first insert our hook into this side single crochet row you're going to insert our yarn onto our hook pull through do a chain up of one to secure and then we're just going to single crochet going all the way across once we get to the middle we do have a couple of side half double crochet rows so we're just going to alternate between one single and two singles into each of these rows and then I'll meet you guys back once when we have finished this off into this side single crochet row right here now that we've single crocheted all the way down now we're going to go in with the length that we want our waistband to be and I want mine to be about two and a half inches or seven centimeters so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. now that we have our chain of 12 we are going to block off that last chain do a chain up of two that counts as a half double you're going to prepare for a half double and then insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double and we're going to make our way all the way down putting one half double into every chain now that we have made our way down with our half double crochet row we are now going to attach it into the base so what we're going to do is count out two stitches so there's one there's two we're going to slip stitch into that second stitch and now that that's all closed up the next thing we're going to do is slip stitch into just the next stitch to start up the next row and that's going to be how we start up every row and we're doing it this way because this is a half double crochet row and not a single and what we're going to do from here is prepare for a half double go into that next back loop and then work our way back down putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch once we make it down to the end do a chain up of two flip our work and then bring it on back down with more back loop half double crochets connecting into the base the way that we just did we're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left to go into when it comes to the body portion that we have right here and then I'll meet you guys back all right so we have just made our way all the way down doing our back loop half double crochets all the way until we hit our last single crochet into this section 
And from here, we're just going to continue on with doing back loop half double crochets. So we're just going to do a chain out of two, flip our work, and then bring it on back. And then keep working back and forth like this until this flap that we're making can reach all the way around us so that we can seam it into here together once when we are done. We just have a couple things to go over right before I let you guys go for it. The first thing is that these back loop half double crochets will stretch quite a bit. We do want to make sure that it can fit over the widest part of our hips, but don't make it too wide because then once when it cinches in around your waist, you'll have a little bit of a buckle going on. So you guys are going to want to keep putting it up to yourselves, making sure that you guys are stretching it as wide as it would be stretched as if you were putting it on just to make sure that it's fitting you correctly. And then also, if you guys need just a little bit more stretch, you guys are more than welcome to do back loop slip stitches for the waistband as well instead of back loop half double crochets. I will link a video for you guys up here or up here, wherever it goes, so that you guys can figure out how to do the back loop slip stitches. But other than that, go ahead and just keep doing that, going all the way around, and then I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know how we're going to seam it up. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with the entirety of my waistband and counting from where I first started my waistband all the way down to where I ended. I have a total of 65 rows or just counting from where this kind of splits over to where I ended. I have a total of 11 inches or 28 centimeters and that is unstretched. And just as a refresher, this does fit around my waist nicely, but this does stretch just enough to fit over my hips as well. So once when we have this, we can now sandwich this to the other end and then we can seam this up together. All right, so seaming this up together, we have made sure that our hook was in through the front panel and the back panel at the same time. Since my hook is in through the working yarn, I'm just going to pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And then we're going to be single crocheting all the way down, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So go ahead and insert your hook into the first available loop we have into the front panel and also into the next available loop we have into the back panel. And then we are going to single crochet. And go ahead and keep doing this, going all the way down. Once we get down to the end, do a chain up of one and cut, and then we can finish up this top half by going in with our straps. All right, so we are done seaming up our waistband, and we should have something that looks a little bit like this. The next thing we're gonna do is just clean up our edges and then also make a chain for our halter strap. So this part's gonna be fairly easy. All we're going to do is insert our hook into this top corner stitch right here. We're going to grab our yarn, make a slip knot, insert that onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of two. Once we have that, that counts as a half double crochet. And from here, we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into, well not one, we're actually gonna be putting two half double crochet into each of our side double crochets that we have. Once we get up here, we get to some regular stitches, which is just putting one half double crochet into each of those. Once we get into this corner, we're gonna be doing a decrease once into this side of the body and then once into the side of the cup with a half double crochet. And then we're gonna make our way all the way up with half double crochet. And then once we hit our net, we are going to go in with single crochet. And then once we hit this corner, we're gonna go in with our strap. So go ahead and go in with your half double crochets until we have just one stitch left into this body portion. So we've just gone in with our half double crochets and we are at our last stitch when it comes to going in with our body portion. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through. And then we're also gonna go into the first stitch that we have into the cup. So it's actually gonna be this single crochet row. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four stitches. And then from here, we're just gonna go in with half double crochet until we meet each other back, which is when we are gonna go in with our single crochets when we hit our net. So we've just made it all the way down over to our net and from our half double crochets, we're just gonna go in with two single crochets because all of these are side double crochets. Once we hit that corner stitch, we're just going to make a chain that is long enough for our next strap. So I'm gonna start off by making a chain of, let's look at my notes, 90 chains and that comes out to a total of 19 inches or 49 centimeters. Once we have that length, go ahead and cut and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I'll meet you guys back. So now that we have just finished up going in with our next strap, we can actually try this on now and figure out where everything is going to fall. And then once we know that, we can go in with the skirt portion. The first thing we're gonna have to do is just go along the bottom with a row of single crochet. But since we're going in with the skirt, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into each of these side half double crochets. So it's gonna be fairly simple. So go ahead and insert your hook into any one of these side half double crochets. 
pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and then into this first side half double, I'm gonna go in with two single crochets. So there's one, there's two. Into the next, there's gonna be another set of two single crochets. Go ahead and keep doing this going all the way around. All right, so we have just made our way all the way across with our row of single crochet, and what we're gonna do from here is slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made just to close this off. And then once when we have that, we are going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our skirt portion to be. And keeping in mind, we will have some detail along the bottom as well. So I'm gonna make mine a total of eight inches or 20 centimeters, or that comes out to 35 chains. Once we have our chain, what we're gonna be doing from here is blocking off that last chain and doing a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet. From here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook with a double crochet. And from here, we're gonna make our way all the way down, putting one double crochet into every chain. So we have just made our way all the way down with our first row when it comes to our skirt portion, and we are now ready to connect it into the base. But what we're gonna do from here is gonna be fairly simple. We're just gonna count up one, two stitches, slip stitch into that second, and now this first row is all finished. Once when we have that, we are gonna be slip stitching up the next two stitches flipping our work and then just putting a double crochet into every stitch that we have. Once we make it down to the end, do a chain up of three, flip our work and then bring it on back down and then attach it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're going to keep doing that going all the way around until we don't have any more stitches left and then I'll meet you guys back to show you guys what to do from there. All right, so we have just made our way all the way across with our skirt. We don't have any more stitches left to go into. So what we're gonna do is just seam this up and then we're gonna go in with our bottom trim. So what we're going to do is just do a chain up of one, insert our hook into the first stitch we have into the front panel, into the next stitch we have into the back panel, and then single crochet. Go ahead and just keep doing this going all the way down until you guys don't have any more stitches left. If you guys are working from top to bottom like I am, go ahead and just do a chain up of one and chill out for a second. Or if you guys are going the other way, just do a chain up of one and cut and then just reattach your yarn onto the bottom. So we have just made our way all the way down with our seam and now we're gonna start working on our bottom band. So how that's gonna work is we're all gonna start off by doing a chain up of three that counts as a double and then we're gonna do an extra chain, so four in total. Once we have that, we are going to prepare for a double crochet and then we're just gonna be putting our double crochet into the loop that we have right in between our first and our second double crochet row. So if we separate it just a little bit, we can see that there's a very clear loop in between. We're going to prepare for our double and then insert our hook into there with a double crochet. And a quick tip that I have for you guys is that once when we are going in with our chain, we're gonna try and keep this somewhat loose so that it doesn't pull on the netting. Because if we go in with a chain of two instead of one, it can actually expand our work, which isn't what we want. But all we're gonna do is just do a looser chain of one, prepare into the loop that we have in between the next two double crochet rows double crochet. Keep doing this going all the way around. Once we make our way down to the end, we're going to slip stitch into the chain up of one space and then we're going to go in with a row of solid double crochet. So we've just made our way all the way around with our row of net and the next row we're going to do is going to be a row of solid double crochets. So all we're going to do is do a chain up of three that counts as a double and we're just going to go all the way around putting one double crochet into every stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into that third chain that we just made and then we're going to be doing just one more row of net. So we've just made our way all the way around with our double crochet row and what we're gonna do from here is just one more row of net. So start off by doing a chain up of three and then a chain up of one. So a total of four, the first three count as a double crochet. Prepare for a double, skip one stitch, double into the next and continue doing our net all the way around. Slip stitch into that third chain that we made into this chain up of four, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we have just finished up going in with the entirety of our bottom band and I have actually gone in with all of my fringe. So we're just gonna do one of them together because the rest of them are exactly the same. What I did is I measured out a total of 14 inches because I wanted my fringe to be about seven. And then I'm also doing them in bundles of four. So all I'm gonna do is take my hook. I'm gonna make sure that my work is flipped right side out and I'm gonna go underneath this bottom set of nets that I have. I'm going to pull my yarn underneath that loop. And then from here, I'm just gonna take that loop that we pulled through, pinch our tail ends, and then pull it through. And the only tip that I have for you guys is just to make sure that we're pulling it through the same way every single time, just to make sure that the knots are all faced the same direction. 
and you guys can trim it, do whatever you guys want to the style of it. And now that we are actually all done with our fringe, the last thing that we have to do for this piece is make a chain that is long enough to weave in and out of the corset ties in the back. And once we have that, we are all done. The last thing we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We've attached our fringe, woven in our ends, and our dress is all done up. I'm really loving this Pac-Man cutout thing for the waistband. I'm not even sure what we'd call it yet, but it's super useful and I can't wait to use it for future projects. It addresses a need I've had for a while now for a different way to make rompers and fit it in closed pieces, so keep an eye out for that. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite yarn color. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, because believe it or not, it really helps. Be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.